Riemann sum problem. We have one integral. So we need to approximate this integral using Riemann sum for n divisions. n equals 4 in this case. Our limit here is 0 to 8. So that means if you take one inter line like this, say so starting 0 and then you have 8. So n equals 4, that means you have to divide into 4 portions. 1, 2, 3, 4 portions you have. So if you just use your normal idea, basic idea, you easily understand that this is 4, this is 2, and this is 6. So you got 4 divisions in this case. That's why we have n equals 4. Other way, you can say the delta x, which is upper limit is 8 minus lower limit divided by n, this is 4. So delta x gives you 2. So this is your 2 units. Now when you are looking for Riemann sum for the right, right end point, so these are my right end points. So 4 right end points. In this case, we can say x1 is 2, x2 is 4, x3 is 6, and x4 is 8. Now when you are looking for right Riemann sum, so this one will be close to delta x and then f of x1 which is 2 plus f of x2 meaning is 4 then f of x3 is 6 and then f of x8. So we take advantage from our graphing calculator I'm typing the function 2x squared plus 3x plus 8 and it is better to graph in standard window or you can fix your window like you can take from 0 to you can take 8 I'm taking 10 and other values we don't care that much let me put it uh, negative 20 to 20 or maybe you can say 0 to 20 that's fine just need to collect our values we graph it and then we trace at 2 first go to trace so at 2 you get 18 so write immediately here so I have delta x is 2 and then I have 18 plus now we do it at 4 and continue this way so then finally when we add up all of these and multiply by 2 so right Riemann sum approximation is 632 now we do for the left Riemann sum we are now looking for left Riemann sum approximation so then left boundary will be this one first then this one, then this one, then this one, and we stop here. So then we start from here. X naught is zero. X one is two. X two is four, and X three is six. So you got one, two, three, four boundary points. So then L four will be delta X is two, and we take F zero, F two, F four and F6. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 boundaries. Now simplify this on same way in the calculator and get our answer done. So using this one we get our answer 952. Now we'll be doing for the middle points. So our middle points are here. This is one, one here, other here and this one. So the middle point first I get 1, then I'm getting 3, then I'm getting 5, and then 7. So then for the midpoint, now for approximation will give me delta x is 2. So f1, f3, f5, f7. And then we'll simplify this one. So using the midpoint approximation, our result is coming out as 464. So these are all approximations using Riemann sum for four divisions. 
when we make more like n is say 100 or 1000 or 1 million then this integral will converge to the exact answer so we will see this one in the fundamental theorem later